Thanks very much. <coughs> uh, the, these are all quite short, so um, I'd be grateful if you didn't clap in between each poem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sarcasm. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Um, yeah, this uh, first one is, um, I suppose you could call it an, anti an antidote to all those uh, sentimental eulogies um, to one's parents that seem to bedevil so many poetry readings these days, or maybe they've always bedeviled them, but uh, anyway. Um, <coughs> just one note of explanation. Um, I'm a wartime baby, and uh, an accidental wartime baby. <laughs> Just <laughs> might help. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so this one's called On Consanguinity. Three short ones. <clears throat> Number one. Hey, dead father lumber on the stair, are you ready yet to carry on that never promised, long and honest conversation with your son? Number two. Hey, mummy, mummy, had a kind of funny feeling in my tummy when you obligingly apprised me of the woefully low caliber of non-military rubber in the war. <laughs> Number three. Oh, never be afraid, though funk may drench your bed, to criticize your parents, especially when they're dead. <laughs> Um, this too is um, about, <laughs> about relatives. Uh, um, I, got, I seem to have had loads of aunts and uncles, like, <laughs> like a lot of people, I suppose. Um, uh, and, and they all seem to move to Somerset, which became Avon, and then became <laughs> Somerset again. But, um, uh, I liked my aunts, I didn't like my uncles. Anyway, they're all dead now. Um, <laughs> this, it, this could also be a reflection on uh, what some, sometimes seems to be happening, which is a return to bigotry. bigotry. Um, it's called The Village of the Uncles. <clears throat> With the aunts all gone, the unpleasant uncles return in tanks through snapping Avon lanes. We laughed then, but now we know their jokes were never funny, and neither were their socks, nor their cravats, and certainly not their frequently aired opinions. We used to think that silence will have the last laugh, but now we feel the crunch of steel on stone and bone. We're not so sure. Uh, uh, this was written as a, a song. Um, uh, I have actually performed it with, with Rick uh, backing me, but uh, <laughs> uh, we, we haven't rehearsed this, so, so I'm trying to do it myself. Uh, uh, I'm not going to sing it, by the way. Uh, we'll be saved that. It's called Why Did It Have To Be Low? It's a love song. Um, <clears throat> the nights were tight with the days. Below was becoming above. Help came in the shape of a craze. But why did it have to be love? Depression was losing its charm. My head told me I'd had enough. I needed a shot in the arm. But why did it have to be love? My nemesis claimed a high card. I was thinking of calling her bluff. The telephone rang in the yard. The dealer declared it was love. It could have been Captain Flint's parrot. It could have been Noah's pale dove. I was pelted with stick and with carrot. What came through the window was love. Now it's here, it's made itself comfy, in a nest of ice cream and fluff. It calls me the organist's monkey and regrets it can't call itself love. Though its manner and size make me shiver and the gale from its wings blows so rough and its beak has torn shreds from my liver, I'm glad it turned out to be love. Uh, last one. <coughs> uh, uh, last one is... Um, I'm in uh, hopefully one and a half weeks' time. I'm going to. I'll be moving to Brighton, so I've been, been going to Brighton uh, on and off um, over the last few uh, after, over the last year. So this was actually written on Brighton Pier, and it's called "On Brighton Pier." 
over the palace of fun, Mimi's bar, the dome, a smudge of seagulls, tiny red spider, stroll across this good hard pebble. Sea, sea, fin flap edge of the world's flounder, accept this poke of bones into your cold grey gut. Thank you.